So have you ever been working away in an electrical Revit project and all of a sudden you're trying to connect some devices and you cannot find a panel, no drop down, or you find a panel, there's not enough circuits left, or you can't find the secondary of a transformer you installed. Maybe your receptacle is set up to the wrong voltage or the wrong number of poles and it won't connect. These are real frustrations that we encounter especially in the beginning of using Revit Electrical. So today I'm excited to offer a free five-page PDF download that itemizes in 14 points all the settings and parameters and voltages and phases that you need to check and make sure are set appropriately so that all of your electrical equipment in your electrical system all connect seamlessly. So let me walk you through this document really quick so you know what you're getting here. So the first point here is noticing that any voltages you intend to utilize in your model need to be defined in the electrical settings voltage definitions. Then you need to make sure that any distribution system, which includes volts, single phase, wire, delta, how many wires, line to line voltage, line to neutral voltage, all that gets set up in the electrical distribution settings. That sets the stage for what you can and cannot interconnect within your electrical model. And these are things you would typically set up in a project template so you don't have to do them over and over. Then the document goes further on to show the specific parameters within each kind of equipment like a switchboard, panel board, generator, transfer switch, motor control center, meter center, all that equipment, what parameters you need to check and where you can change those. Some of these things out of the box can only be changed if you jump into the family editor, which is a little more advanced and more complex. Other things can be changed as a type parameter. And furthermore, some can be changed as a, an instance parameter. So it gets confusing very quickly and you can easily lose track of where you are and what you need to change. This PDF check sheet also ties into the video I have on my channel about mastering electrical distribution in Revit, which I will also link in the description below. In there, I explain each type of connection and show both in a one line, single line diagram and in the model how all of these settings and parameters get addressed. So check that one out too. Download this free document. I'll give you a link in the description below. It can also be found as a link in my website, which I will reference below. All it takes is an email address to access this. You can either join or not join my email list from that. But take a look at that, download it, and see if that helps you with your interconnection problems. And let me know if you see something you'd like addressed. Be glad to help you out. And thank you for watching and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Until next time. Mm -hmm.